Okay, welcome to another tra uh, Traveler Theophilus video. You can hit C to change the viewpoint. So here I'm looking at you. Hit C again and it puts me back here. Now there's a couple of things that I'd like to do. Uh, you notice this inventory is very plain. There's a much better inventory. Let me show you how to get to it. So if you exit to menu and you go to content, okay, you click browse online content. And uh, I like unified uh, inventory plus put the word inventory in there and click search. Now, Unified Inventory is good, but even better is, in my opinion, Unif Unified Inventory Plus. So hit plus on that to install. Now, it requires Unified Inventory, FUtil, and FMod. So I'm going to leave the Install Missing Dependencies check because this mod will not work without these other three mods. And I'll click install. Okay, so now it's been downloaded. Go to your game. Go to it's uh, your world is highlighted. Go to select mods. And I'll just click enable all because Unified Inventory Plus has um, two other dependencies. And FUtil requires FMod. So let's save that. Now when you go into your game and you hit I, the inventory looks different. And I think this is a much nicer inventory. I like it a lot more. So when we wanted to do Axe, um, like we did in the previous one, you click Axe. And you see it gives you what it looks like right up here. So um, that's the first thing. Now, if you're not sure about stuff, you can do slash H-E-L-P, forward slash. And it will give you the basic commands in the server. Built in... Um, for example, let's see, if we look up help, you see the word P-R-I-V-S there. So let's do slash help and then P-R-I-V-S, enter. And that lists the available privileges. Now, um, there's two privileges that I recommend. One of them is set time. So if you look on help, you'll see it has grant me. So I will grant me set time. And you see it lists set time on Dr. Theo's privileges. Let me move this up a little bit. Now, if you go into inventory, you don't see anything new there. But if you exit out, exit to menu, and then go back into your game, and then hit inventory, you now are able to set the day and the night. So here's night. If the game gets dark, you go to I for inventory and click on the daylight one. And so you have that in unified inventory and unified inventory plus. Now, another one that I like, so slash, and let me arrow up, help privileges, um, home. So I, I like having the ability to set home because as you're traveling, you want to be able to record where you are. It's a big world, and while you explore, um, so slash... Let's see, it is um, H-O-M-E. Okay, so I'll just say 
grant me H O M E. And now I have the home privilege. Now you see there's no home here, but if I walk, uh oh, um, if I walk over here and I do slash set home, it says home set. So now if I go somewhere away from there and I do slash home, it brings me back to that location. Now, if you exit out and go back in, you'll see you have set home and home down there. Now, in the basic game, notice if I go to I and click go home, it doesn't move me anywhere. Because actually, they are two separate set homes. The one, there's one if you do slash home from the keyboard commands. And there's another one from your inventory, which I like because it gives you more, more uh, homes that you can have, multiple ones. So if I do I and click the red set home in here, now if I do slash home, it brings me to the one we did by the keyboard. And if I go I and click go home, that's the one I did using the unified inventory. Okay, so what we covered in this video is how to add the ability to set the time of day, how to set your home, and how to install um, unified inventory and also how to change your viewpoint by pressing C. Thank you for watching.